This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP NV M4 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP NV M4 laptop computer. Before we do this, before we do anything with this, or most other laptop computers, we need to disconnect all sources of power and that means removing the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over and there's one lever to slide right above the battery. We slide it towards the middle, lift the battery up and remove the battery. While we're on the bottom, we can look at the model number. It's right under the battery and the model number is shown right under the barcode says model M4 that's what we're looking for okay so we flip the laptop over again and before we get started we're going to go over the tools we need we have a PH0 electronic screwdriver PH is the stands for Phillips and 0 is the size of the screwdriver we have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife that's to lift up adhesive tape and a pair of metal sharp metal tweezers to manipulate cables and to remove any screws that may be stuck. Okay, so the first thing we do in order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. Uh, sometimes the screen bezel has screws that secure it to the screen assembly, but in this case it doesn't. So this bezel just snaps off. In order to snap off the screen bezel, we put our fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds. And work your way around the screen like this. If you get stuck at a certain point, then what you need to do is keep moving and come back to that place later on when the other parts are snapped out and it will be easier. So in this manner we work our way around the screen like so. Same on the bottom, just lift outward and then just tilt the bezel forward and lift it out. Okay, for this type of screen, it's a slim screen, so what that means, it's mounted to the screen assembly on metal mounting tabs with screws on top and bottom. So we need to remove the screws. We use our PH0 screwdriver to do that. And when we do this, we tilt the screen backwards a little bit, so when we remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you like so and we put our screws in the one pile on the side of the laptop for this one it doesn't matter as much because there's only four screws for the laptops there's more sets of screws so you got to keep track of them once we're done removing the screws we gently start tilting the screen forward make sure it's not getting stuck on anything and then put it down like so there's one connector for us to remove and we see that there's some adhesive on the cable to the video cable to the back of the screen assembly and in order to have access to it we need to pull this adhesive away a little bit to have better access like so. Okay, this should probably be enough and what the next step is is to remove this connector. It's secured by some adhesive tape to the back of the screen, so we use our X-Acto knife to lift up the adhesive tape, and then slowly lift up the adhesive tape. And once we do that, we grab the connector by the back and gently pull it out, like so. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. We slide the connector back in, gently and when you slide it back in you'll feel but not hear two clicks that means it's properly engaged 
So let's get a close-up shot of the connector. Pause the video right there. The connector should look exactly like this. The two sides of the connector should be flush with each other. There should not be a gap in the seam, seam between the two sides of the connection. Okay, we're going to pull out the connector again and we'll take a look at the screen. This is a 14 inch LED slim screen. And let's find the part number. The part number that you're looking for is LP140WH2. LP140WH2. That's the part number you're looking for. Now, once you do get your screen in, most likely it will not have the same part number, but it will look exactly the same and the connector will be in the same place since six or seven different vendors make the exact same screen. You can, also, you can also order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship you is the wrong one, we'll ship you the right one at no extra charge. You'll get this exact same toolkit. It comes for free with the screen, so you can replace your laptop screen right then and there. We have a two-year warranty on our screens against dark screen or dead pixels more than one dead pixels and that kind of stuff and we have fast shipping we use priority mail that's free shipping and you will get your screen in two or three days or less if you live in continental united states if you live outside of the united states we can ship to most countries just go to the regular checkout procedure and select your country to order this screen from us go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model and this will guide, guide you to buy the right screen online. Alright, once you do get your new screen in, connect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top and the two screws in at the bottom and snap the screen bezel back on and then put the battery back in and your computer should then be working again. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.